Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a clean and decorate with me for my front and back patio. For my front and back patio, I only purchase a few um, flowers. Besides that, I tried to reuse everything that I already had. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I kind of just pulled it for, together with items that I already had in my home or that I previously used in my front and my back porch. So first we're going to get started with the front porch. My front porch needed a good sweeping down. To be honest, unless I'm changing, my front porch always has decor on it. If you are like that, comment down below. Like it never looks bearing. But before this video, I took everything off, including the sign, all of the plants, and I wanted to start the video from scratch. But if you guys are like me and your front porch always has, my front porch always has some sort of wreath, some sort of sign hanging, and then some sort of vignette in the corner. It's just how I roll. But um, I needed to power wash my front porch, but I did not do that. So I swept it off and just put the mat back on. So um, yes, this welcome mat and the black mat underneath it. The black mat underneath it, I've had it forever. The welcome mat is from Hobby Lobby, and this is, I think, my third or fourth year using it. This, our porch is very, very, very small, our front porch, but it is covered, so the mat has been kept in pretty good condition. I am just wiping down my door. If I am being honest, I never do this, um, only when I'm changing out decor, so I'm giving it a good wipe down, and I'm gonna give the baseboards also a good wipe down. For fall this year, instead of busting out my fall wreath, I am in love with this um, wreath from hearth in hand and I had it up for summertime so I am just going to add a little pumpkin in the middle that says welcome and call it a day and reuse it. Um, I just love it so much that I wanted to reuse it. Um, you're going to see I feel like I have way too many welcomes so I'm going to probably change the sign that is hanging up that you guys are going to see in this video but the sign is probably going to go bye bye. I'm on the hunt looking for one but everything else will kind of stay. Um, I'm putting out hay bales. I get my hay bales from Walmart. I feel like they have the best prices. They're seven dollars. And then my mums are also from Walmart. Um, last year I had to repurchase them twice, but I am determined not to do that this year. I purchased some that were not bloom yet, so they can start blooming. And then the biggest one, that one was already bloomed, but I know that you need to water them every single day, and I did not do that last year, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm watering them every single day. For my little vignette, I like it to look like I just found stuff along the ways and just kind of put it together to go here. So I'm adding pumpkins in that I also got from Walmart. I'm adding in a candle that I, a candle holder that I need to put a candle in, and then a really cute sign. I will be also, I will be doing a full house decor video. So um, you guys will learn more details in that video. But the little home sign, I actually purchased that from my local grocery store. The candle holder is actually from um, Michael's years and years ago, and the sign hanging up is from Michael's years and years ago. So the back porch, I literally just used everything that I just had. We had recently had our house sprayed, actually the weekend before, so all of the furniture, I had to put the cushions back on and all of that good stuff. Um, my furniture is from Amazon. Um, I got it probably six years ago. The little ottoman and side table, those are from Amazon as well. I brought those this spring. So I'm just giving everything a good wipe down because you know things get dusty outside and I am going to use the items that I currently have and try to make it look cute. Um, I am actually loving it. It looks so warm and cozy. I had just a ton of pumpkins left over, so the ceramic ones I thought would do fine outside. So I'm putting them in this little lantern that I picked up from my local grocery store during the springtime. I had a few signs that were left over. Um, this sign, you see, I'll move it. When I decorate, I'll put things in a spot and live with it for a little bit and then change things around. So in my final home tour, I want you guys to try to spot all of the things that I have changed because it's going to be 
quite a bit. So I just thought I would set up a little vignette here. I have a little um, tub that I've had, a little vintage tub for a really long time, and I just set up some pumpkins here. I'm not in love with this setup, and I will probably be changing it around. As I am speaking right now, I have already added way more <laughs> decor out here, and I have already changed things around, and you guys will see that in my fall decor um, home video. And then there I dropped the pot because I went to lift out this plant, which was on my front porch, and there was a slug, and it was disgusting and disturbing. But here I am just making my way around, trying to use up those ceramic pumpkins that I have. All of my pillows, the blue ones are from Amazon, the white one is from Walmart, and they are outdoor pillows. That sign is one that I had on my front porch, the sweet home, and that one was from, um, tractor supply for the summertime. And now I'm just giving everything, I gave everything a good wipe down and I'm loving it. It just is so much cozier. Those little jack-o'-lanterns or whatever you want to call them, the brown ones, those are actually from Michael's and I probably had them seven or eight years and they have held up so great and I use them indoors I use them outdoors and they've held up great this little vignette I'm not in love with and I wind up changing it but you guys will see that in my house tour I love the way this look and then just that and then the pumpkins in the middle and just giving you an overview of everything and we are just loving it being that much cozier and comfier for our little family. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.